What's up? It's your boy Dark of this gaming over here. I'm gonna show you some gameplay of me whooping my cousin's ass. Just like I always do in general to people, but hey, it when it's quick scoping, it's this is it's, it's a murder scene. Alright, but whatever. Um let's get into what's really also let me just state it right now. The last kill cam, like I knew I was gonna win. And before that I won to one somebody that said that they lose a winner by a new mic, but they lost regardless so they weren't gonna win. But yeah. I really find it hilarious how even when I dick around, I manage to make at least something like the kill cam just that much more dope. So do with that information as you may. Now, will I say something right now that's going to be important after this? Yes, a lot. Because this is just somewhat of an intro, so let's get into what's really important in the video now, people. Call of Duty World War II zombies in multiplayer somewhat of a preview trailer they have um kind of shown me for the multiplayer side that the maps are gonna be dope and they did bring a remastered or bring in a remastered of modern warfare 3 that map that you know we've seen already as a meme um i think that if i had to say what's going to most likely be the more um shocking thing to me is that they chose that map to be the one from Modern Warfare 3 that they would pick. I would have thought that Dome would have actually been a little bit more. And if they like, you know, spiced it up and changed some other things, make it look more Nazi. I would have thought Dome would have been their um, map to choose. It would have been cool if they would have been, you know, picked Dome. But I, I kind of low-key at the same time want to see Dome be remastered on the Treyarch side. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to do a Modern Warfare or Modern Era kind of a Call of Duty next. So, I kind of want to leave Dome to the professionals. So, uh, let's leave it at that. This map, I'm totally fine with it. Because I really do enjoy that map. Or enjoyed it back in Modern Warfare 3. Um, other than that, I really do find the other maps pretty cool. It's just the one thing, um, one or two of the maps, maybe more than that some of them looked a little bit too similar where like at first when i watched it the trailer i thought i was really actually watching um the same map being played over and over or i couldn't tell the reason i was able to tell the whole um that hitler bunker speakeasy whatever the heck they were talking about was it kind of had um a little bit more of a different look obviously and you can tell the playstyle is gonna be different but the other one I almost thought I was looking at that map that they had on DLC map at on um, infinite warfare just put into like um, boots in the ground game like you know that map that they made on infinite warfare that looked like a bunch of cities and the ruins or something like that not sure how to describe the best but yeah I almost thought it was a that map probably is honestly i'm not surprised because not a lot of people like the infinite warfare and they're probably like yo you guys didn't want that game but we still bring that map um hope you guys are cool with it deuces but i think if they did do that because i'm not entirely sure um it just looks similar for a while well i know i could be wrong i just seen a glimpse of it so um if they did if they did if they did it would actually work out because that map seems like it would work out in a call of duty like this now in terms of a call of duty like that infinite warfare iffy or it could pull it off but i feel it would be better in a call of duty world war 2 era world war 2 world war 2 world war 2 yeah but um let me tell you right now why i think the dlc for the multiplayer portion of it's gonna be good because one they are bringing back a good remastered map out of an old Call of Duty. And two, I really honestly think that in terms of maps, they don't really fuck up that much. Um, or haven't. Yeah, I will say that the normal maps we came with, there are like one, two, possibly even three maps that I'm not the most biggest fan of. But other than that, I, I haven't really seen maps be that much more shit. Like, um, Gustav, whatever the hell that map is, with the giant ass tree, and it's like, that one I'm not biggest fan of. I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm gonna say right now, that is the Sniper Bullshit Paradise, uh, map. I don't like it, then. The other one is, or the other ones, it's not so much that I don't like them. More of if they're being played or overplayed a little bit too much, it gets annoying, so... 
terms of maps. I think they did a, they doing a good job overall. Now here's the thing. Especially if you have the season pass, we should be awarded it with something cool. But I think that we should be seeing dogs as a kill streak right now. I understand maybe why they didn't do it in the in the beginning, but I um, hope this DLC one brings dogs. They need to do this. We want dogs. We want the Kujos. We want to see them bite the people and bite their noses off, you know. But other than that, I really just want to see something new, and not just weapon new, not just maps new, kill streak new. Maybe even um add some different. Um, what do I call this? Add some different new game modes. Like, you know when they brought Fraxin to, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Not gonna say they should do it exactly like that, but... Instead of those little colorful, um, marshmallow, diamond-looking-ass fucking... Looking like you just played Mario instead of coins that gave you, um, jewelry. Right? Instead of that, it should be, like... You collecting documents, I don't know, Hitler's plan for all I care, um, what they were gonna make for dinner and the after party. And the more you collect it, you take it to some kind of a moving vehicle ish small compartment and you put it there for your team to get the most points, which is fraction. But how I would view it in a Call of Duty World War 2 era theme, but no, don't just bring that. Because that's already been brought and introduced by um, Treyarch. I want them to bring their own kind of a new game mode. I like it when they introduce new, introduce new game mode. That's how gun games started in wager, in wager matches and stuff. Heck, on top of that, bring back something like... Um, not sharpshooter, because I don't think we have enough um, crossbows and stuff like that. But when they do bring crossbows, they should bring sharpshooter. But if they honestly had to bring something from a Wager match, I would have to say that one in a chamber thing. That was uh, pretty fun. I remember that, and I, I still, I still have Black Ops One, obviously backwards compatible. So I'm gonna most likely try to bring some gameplay of that next when I do bring back Xbox gameplay. That was pretty fun. Now, will I say that it's going to be 100% perfect? This DLC? Hell no. There's a big chance that they're gonna flop or have something that's important not fixed such as the connection issues they're having but you know I think they should be working on that before even the map gets released so that if they have to do a little bit of a touch-up update or whatever it's less of a problem they should really be working on that the maps I have more enough confidence on them the map's good, it's, I mean, the, the map's, the game's good, it's just those issues are just mind-blowing that they haven't been fixed in Call of Duty in general for Matt Long now. I don't know how he didn't try to quizzical me there, but I don't know. But yeah, um, what else? That's all I gotta say right now for multiplayer. Nothing but hopes and dreams, but so far looking good. But for the zombies, this is where I can't honestly hold my, um, uh, testicles any tighter. And questioning myself why would they say that the fog is anything new or that because there's a lot of things they've done with fog for Treyarch I think even infinite warfare did something with fog I don't remember so it's not something new I want to see how they would honestly make it useful in their benefit for the map I just really don't like to hear when something is said that is new and we know damn well it's been there since the first Call of Duty map. There, uh, not the, what the fuck, um, Noct had a fog. It was covered in a bunker full of fog, for Christ's sake. That's probably why they had it in freaking transit, and part of an op, like, a portion of it, damn it. Fog is not new. It's never going to be new for Call of Duty zombies. And zombies in general, bro. Like, I cannot honestly tell you of a single game anywhere that has zombies that has not implemented fog um left for dead had a fog i know for a fact um any other game that's gonna be having some form, form of a paw um da -da 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 -da. A portion of their maps or a map that has fog because zombies in fog for video games are like fucking re relatives like close relative 
it goes well like peanut butter and jelly time all right so i don't and i don't like peanut butter that that's just weird shit i had to say but yeah um it just mixes in commonly well so if i had to say how stupid they sound they sound stupid i'll say it right the hell now so if, if they going to do anything new with fog they should avoid and yes i'm gonna get really sarcastic right now they should avoid doing these stuff um yo maybe they should actually make the pack-a-bunch machine or their version of the pack-a-bunch machine move around in the fog and then there's gonna be some form of a heavenly light or kind of a similar thing that points to you and be like hey yo you nigger the fog or the pack a bunch machine is over there go pack a bunch of weapon good luck george is going to rape you um oh wait that's right call for dead did it hey maybe they could actually have um the whole map covered in fog or bigger version of portion of the map and have you some um dickhead robot driver drive you everywhere and annoy you and probably dick around and like troll the shit out of you once you do some stupid to piss him off oh crap wait that's transit um and also the lower parts of transit because like you know when you play town and uh, farm and the uh, bus depot whatever the hell all fog Ooh, maybe they can actually have um uh, the one weapon pieces of uh one of the fourth wonder weapon you know because they're also going in that theme where like everybody gets a one weapon that's like all basically the same if not they're all upgrades of what everybody had originally um like the bows and staff and here's the kicker over here maybe they can actually have the fog in the winter form even when there's fog you know you gotta go scatter um scavenge <laughs> you gotta go scavenge for three more pieces of the one weapon to build it oh crap wait that's the ice staff i wonder how they could pull it off hmm there's really not a lot of ways you can actually pull it off but there's um possibly some ways i can't think of right now the one thing i am worried about is how in the hell are they going to make it not obvious that it's not something new that it's not something that we've never seen before but not necessarily that how are they gonna make this map innovative and i'm not so much worried about if the map is gonna be good or bad i'm worried about the replayability factor because i like the first map they did until i play it long enough that i'm like yeah i play this i'm bored um around 30 ish is where i'm like yeah this map is getting quite boring i'm gonna probably just stop playing now oh let me go back to gta 5 or oh let me go play some multiplayer now i, I oh let me go play some black ops 3 zombies that's where like they really need to be hitting the marks not necessarily but don't make the map complete shit now not necessarily if the maps are going bad but look at some of the maps that are in call of the Treyarch history where some of them are simple as shit but the replayability factors are there so you don't have to get complicated with these stuff or easter egg finding and all that crap you don't have to you can make a map as simple as the re slash the giant and just play for hours and still not be necessarily bored you can have a map that has a lot of versatility but if the map replayability factor like how much it makes like it's not necessarily that they can have objectives for us but if you're gonna have a map that's gonna feel completely too repetitive and not in the necessarily best fun way after too long you guys um need to work on your replayability factors if i had to give them a little bit of a assist comment i would have to say make sure that the map are for once make sure that they don't have the same things necessarily like happen all the time and that's kind of um almost impossible for zombies but this could be something new but maybe the fog could be implemented in that way like not the, the same thing or it's you know how the mystery box never gives you the same weapon every time first hit or whatever unless you're like that one jesus christ kind of a character i'm not sure yeah make it something like that but like has different things move around and also peep this kill cam Blah. not sure why he stopped there but that's my opinion so far fog is not new 
and also orange is not the new black so um though it is so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be disappointed or if i'm gonna be um content with this map but if i had to say where i'm standing so far i'm gonna have to see more trailer videos when they pop up i'm out but so far we're looking eh, seven out of eight i mean seven out of ten seven and a half out of ten if i had to give it a rating that's my opinion entirely on the map i know i blabbered a lot on the shit but who doesn't man so it's been your boy dark this game and i know you guys are staring at that burnt car for the illest minute but i'm out peace